Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com, the new Windows 10 Insider build to look at. This is 16273 and um, we're getting to the home straight I think of this Fall Creators update. Um, we've still got the watermark down here so this isn't the final version but uh, we are getting close as this build mainly focuses on bug fixes and minor changes and UI uh, changes but there are some interesting stuff in it and what is new is the View 3D app was shown off at a build and this works if you're on the skip ahead um, ring for uh, for fast ring builds where you can pick an object, an object, a 3D object like this and place it in the real world using your camera so I'm on my surface here so I can choose to place this object and that is on the desk in front of me there's my hand of the webcam so you can see there how that uh, could be quite interesting quite uh, good for your 3D modeling and so I can place it over there and again you can see I can almost grab that like that and move it there very clever stuff um, very clever stuff and this works with this new build and you need to be on the I said skip ahead ring so you get the latest app updates but uh, I think there's a lot more to come to this and as, as developers works on these mixed reality stuff I'll just move that there <laughs> I think that's good that's good fun okay right what else has changed we've got a new font in there the idea of this is it's a standard font that's used for um, high legibility in um, for graphics design and it supports a smooth spectrum going from light to bold so there isn't light or bold you know you can go all the way through the, the spectrums and um, where we'll see this showing up I'm not quite sure but um, so I think Microsoft got some blog posts on this which you can get from the Windows experience blog okay what about uh, other changes well they've uh, fixed issues with the action center and toast notifications not always showing the correct transparency they fixed issue with uh, where uh, suggested apps were visible on, start, on the start menu despite being uh, the setting being off. They fixed issues where certain live tiles were, weren't updating, like the weather and the money app. They fixed issues where going into here and starting to type or whatever wouldn't work. Um, there's quite a lot of fixes where they fixed deadlocks in the UI and so on. So they've been working quite hard on polishing the shell issues and getting these shell issues out of the way ready for release. Microsoft Edge has some improvements. Um, so uh, you can, when you do F3 for search and like that, um, and then it'll go, and go to the next result. So if I put a letter in there and can keep going through F3 and it'll find its way all the way through it like that. Uh, they fixed an issue with Edge where it wouldn't uh, dismiss dialog boxes. They fixed it an issue. They fixed issues with Edge with uh, background audio. Um, there's a whole range of issues fixed with that, and some um, with Microsoft Edge. They've also fixed uh, a lot of issues with the input panel. So they have fixed quite a few issues with the input panel. Uh, and I do like this input panel. They have fixed issues with uh, Win32 apps where they wouldn't line up correctly, and some Hebrew language issues, and so on. So. All about fixes on this build. They fixed um, some issues with Defender. They fixed um, remote desktop issues. They fixed lock screen issues. You know, th there's a whole range of issues they fixed, and I've got a complete post of these on the digitallifestyle.com um, with all the changes to it. So no new features and stuff apart from that View 3D, which I do like. I'm going to be playing with a bit more. But lots of fixes. Interesting. They don't specifically call out any known issues. Well, that means there are known issues or they're just not specifically calling out. I don't know, but it definitely feels like we're on the uh, end of the development road for the Fall Creators Update as they get ready to release this. So thanks for watching this video. You can look back on our YouTube video all the way back to the very first previews of Windows 10 and more on the digitallifestyle.com.